Um, this is a Fox News alert. We're going to go to the presser for Mayor Betsy Hodges. Listen in. Has served the Minneapolis Police Department and the people of Minneapolis for 30 years with vision, determination, and strength. She has overcome barriers and challenges. to become one of the top law enforcement officials in America in a male-dominated profession. She deserves everyone's thanks for her dedicated service. I've worked closely with Chief Harteau for three and a half years. In that time, we've done more faster to transform policing, public safety, and public trust than any other mayor, police chief, police department, or city in America, while putting the safety of our residents first and working hard every day to keep Minneapolis a safe city for everyone. I give Chief Harteau tremendous credit for taking on that body of work and for leading through all of this change. As far as we have come, Chief Harteau is not in a position to lead us further. And from the many conversations I've had with people around our city, especially this week, I note that some in Minneapolis have lost confidence in police leadership. For us to continue to transform policing and community trust in policing, both the chief and I concluded we need new leadership at MPD. In conversation with the chief today, she and I agreed that she would step aside to make way for new leadership. And I asked Chief Harteau for her resignation. She tendered it, and I have accepted it. We are not slowing the pace of our transformation. The work will continue until it is done, until justice, dignity, and the sanctity of life are reflected in every police encounter, and until everyone feels safe and is safe in one Minneapolis. We will not waver from that. Now is the time for new leadership at, new leadership at MPD to get us where we all know we need to be in every police encounter. Following Harto's resignation, which was effective at the close of business day, I have announced that I will nominate current Assistant Chief Madaria Rondo Arredondo as Police Chief. Over the next few years, the Minneapolis Police Department will work to continue the transformational change that we all know we need and to strengthen and ingrain into our policing the changes that we have already made. I am confident that Assistant Chief Arredondo is the right person to lead us through it. The experience of working closely with him over the past week, which has been so hard on everyone in Minneapolis, has solidified my confidence. Assistant Chief Arredondo joined the MPD in 1989 as a patrol officer in the 3rd Precinct. He has served as a school resource officer and a Northside Beat officer. He has also internal affairs and property crime investigations experience. He has served as inspector for the 1st Precinct and a deputy chief and Chief of Staff. We're asking for your prompt resignation. Is it done? We don't want you as our mayor of Minneapolis anymore. We're asking that you take your staff with you. We don't want you to appoint anybody anymore. Your leadership has been very ineffective, and if you don't remove yourself, we're going to put somebody in place to remove you. We do not want you as the mayor of Minneapolis ever again. We would like you to move out of our city. Your police department has terrorized us enough. Your press conference is ineffective because you won't let the people win. And you didn't want to hear us, so you hear me now. We do not want you as the mayor of Minneapolis, and we're asking you to resign. For folks who are listening, I hear and understand. You are ineffective as a leader, and we want you to step down just as your chief Michael did. And we don't want you to appoint anybody. We want you to take your staff with you because they've terrorized us enough in this state. I hear and understand. I hear and understand your objections and the work that we've done. This is our house. You can't lock us out of our house and hold a press conference so you can rubber stamp bullshit. We want you out of this office. We don't want you in this office. You are not the best of the 
leader and we do not want you as the mayor of Minneapolis anymore. We don't want you to appoint a police chief because who you appointed before and it failed. You have failed us for all the years you've been in office. And we I appreciate this appointment, mayor. And if we can get on with the press. Stop killing us with your game. I appreciate this appointment to chief of the Minneapolis Police we Department. So you don't have to accept her. You by yourself it. over there. No, you by yourself. You by yourself. You by yourself. yourself. So I hear and understand people's objections for folks who have the microphone on. And I am happy to sit down and talk with people about the future of policing in Minneapolis. I hear and understand people's objections for what's happening. This is a different relief for our entire city. I have heard you and I have listened. And I am happy to sit down with folks and talk about the future of policing. Tonight I'm announcing that Chief Harto uh, is no longer the police chief. That I am. What do you think of this? What do you think of what's going on? This is a tough this is a tough time for the community. This is a tough time around the world for I am happy to sit down and talk with the Oh! 